All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Gmod Poppy Playtime video on the channel. Yes, guys, that's right. We are back with another Gmod Poppy Playtime video because I thought it was about time since we got a lot more characters in Poppy Playtime, and since you guys have been loving these Gmod Poppy Playtime videos, I thought we would bring back some old trends and uh, test it out on the new Poppy Playtime characters from Chapter Two. So yes, guys, that's right. Throwing stuff off of a building is back i don't know why this series is a thing i don't know why people like it but it's back so if you want to see huggy wuggy fall off a building well i think you've come to the right video now before we hop into this make sure to leave a like on this video and also subscribe so that way you won't miss any future uploads but feel free to leave a like on this video so that way i know you guys want to see more gmod poppy playtime videos on the channel but if you've already left a like then we can go ahead and hop straight into it so uh yeah so as you can see we are on the big city map and there's a bunch of buildings on this map and we're obviously going to be throwing poppy playtime characters off of the building so uh i mean yeah it's pretty self-explanatory but anyways guys there's gonna be three different buildings we're gonna be throwing these characters off today so we have the small building this is the first building we are gonna be throwing characters off of it's like basically like a little easy level and stuff so uh so if you fall off this you might break an ankle or something like that nothing too bad so it's just a warm-up you know getting things warmed up so uh, yeah this is our little boy building all right that's what we're gonna be calling it and this is level one this is where we're gonna start off with then after we throw all the characters off of this building we're gonna be moving on to our second building which is going to be this beautiful building right here and this is the medium boy building so as you can see it's much higher than the first building and uh yeah so then we're going to move over here and throw all the characters off of this building and that's a long drop yeah i don't think you're going to survive that high um yeah so uh yeah, eh, yeah, you might break a finger here or there, but you should be a okay to go. So, uh, yeah, um, so this is going to be our second building we're going to be throwing off of. And then after that, we're going to be throwing them off of the tallest building on this map, which is actually two. Um, we're going to be throwing the characters all the way up from there on the big boy, and that's going to be level three. So uh, make sure to watch this video to the end if you guys want to see these characters get thrown off from world height. So, uh, yeah, but anyways, guys, let's go ahead and hop straight into it. Now, the question here is, which character should we throw off this building first? Should we throw off Huggy Wuggy, because he was the first character we saw from Chapter 1, or should we throw off Mummy Longlegs, because, you know, she's long. Okay, that sounds sus. But as you can see right now, as of the time I'm recording this video, these are all the current Poppy Playtime ragdolls we have on the Gmod Workshop. So knowing my luck, by the time this video comes out, we might get like a new player ragdoll or whatever or something else. But uh, these are all the current uh, ragdolls we have on the Workshop. So we're going to be thrown off with all these beautiful, beautiful people. So uh, I think it's only fair that we start with Huggy Wuggy because... I just now realized, looking at all these characters that we have as Ragdoll so far, the majority of them are like Huggy Wuggies. You got Huggy Wuggy, Kissy Missy, Scary Huggy, which is just the mouth changed, and you have all the little Wacka Wuggies, but then over here you only have Mommy Longlegs, Bunzo Bunny, and then PJ Pugapillar. Like, what? why is everyone obsessed with this guy? Does he give good hugs? Alright, so I think it's only fair if we do throw off Huggy Wuggy first. So Huggy Wuggy, we are going to see today if it is possible for you to see wait huh that's not english we're gonna see if you could have survived that fall from chapter one yes guys if you remember at the end of chapter one huggy wuggy falls to his apparent death but today we're gonna we're gonna test that myth out and we're gonna see if huggy wuggy can survive a drop so this is definitely not as tall as huggy wuggy fell in chapter one huggy wuggy fell way further down probably like about the size of that medium building i'd say that's how far huggy wuggy fell down in chapter one um, but we're gonna see if Huggy Wuggy can survive this fall, which he definitely should. If not, I'm gonna be very disappointed in you, Huggy Wuggy. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, anyways, Huggy Wuggy, any last words before I, uh, you know, throw you off this building? No? Okay, bye, Huggy Wuggy. Alright, Huggy Wuggy has fallen off the building, and... Okay, Huggy Wuggy's alive! He only lost an arm and a leg. Not bad, Huggy Wuggy. Not bad. So yeah, Huggy Wuggy is still alive. He's injured, but he's still alive. So that's all that matters. So Huggy Wuggy can survive a good fall. Now, what about Mommy Longlegs? Could she survive a fall? I mean, I, I think? I don't know. I mean, her legs are more skinnier and stuff, but she's also stretchier and stuff. So do you think Mommy Longlegs will be is stronger than Huggy Wuggy or not? We're gonna figure that out right now. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and just drop Mommy Longlegs off. So goodbye, Mommy. And oh, okay. So she broke her leg and a foot. Okay, I mean, actually, that is better. Because Huggy Wuggy lost his entire leg and an arm. But Mommy Longlegs only lost a leg and a foot. So I guess Mommy Longlegs is confirmed to be a bit stronger than Huggy Wuggy, at least on this level one building. Okay, that's kind of cool. 
Um, let's see. Who should we throw off next? I'm kind of curious. What is going to happen to PJ Pugapilla? Because look at this boy. He's super long and stuff. He's very different from all the other characters. So I feel like PJ Pugapilla, since he's like super long and stuff, I feel like he has a good chance of surviving these buildings. I feel like he could actually survive the, the, the final building, you know? And I feel like on that building, a lot of people are going to die. But, uh, I think PJ Pugapilla has a good chance to survive throughout all of this. So, uh, all right, let's let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna drop him off right over here. So it's at the same height. So uh, any last words? Nope. Your caterpillar dog. Okay. Good luck. And he's he's perfectly fine. Holy frick! He took no damage. So uh, oh, right as I say that, I think he yeah. Right as I said that, he stubbed his toe and lost his entire foot. Are you are you kidding me? So PJ Pugapillar only lost one foot, but he has like a million feet. So I guess it. I guess it doesn't matter um so P besides his foot being gone he's perfectly fine so uh, he's just gonna waddle away i mean i don't think him missing one foot's gonna bother him that much he's got a lot of other feet so i uh, i think he's gonna be fine so uh yeah but there you go pj pugapillar dang oh dang yeah um let me know in the comments guys who do you think out of all these characters will survive the final build and right now i'm kind of leaning towards pj pugapillar i'm not gonna lie I, th I think he's got a good chance but i don't know maybe one of these smaller characters might be able to pull something magical off you know you never know speaking of smaller characters what about our good old pal bunzo okay bunzo is weak as frick so bunzo bunny if you stand if bunzo bunzy but 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 if bunzo bunny stands up he'll break his foot i mean i guess that makes sense because like i guess that's why in chapter two he's tied to the ceiling and that's why we don't see him walking around because apparently he's too weak and if he walks around he breaks his foot Bunzo, you are weak. Okay, you're lucky that I'm going to spawn in a new version of you, so don't break your foot instantly again, okay, Bunzo Bunny? All right, Bunzo Bunny, I'm giving you a second chance. I swear, if you lose your feet, I'm going to have to hurt you. So, uh, guys, do you think Bunzo Bunny is stronger than Huggy or Mommy Longlegs, or do you think he's just going to get annihilated? Um... I don't know what's going to happen to him. We'll see. He might surprise us. Okay, Bunzo Bunny, don't disappoint me. Let's go! Oh, okay. He fell kind of fast. I'm not going to lie. So I guess maybe since he's a bit smaller, he's he's able to fall a bit faster. Um, so uh, yeah. Oh, he's got blood on him too. So he's bleeding out. He lost an arm. He lost both of his feet and half of a leg. So yeah, that does not look good. Definitely worse than Mommy Long Legs. Is that technically? Yeah, no, that's technically worse than Huggy Wuggy. So uh, yeah, Bunzo. Oh, and I just laid him down. And he lost his other arm. Yeah, Bunzo Bunny is weak. Holy frick. Maybe he might be able to make a comeback later on, you know? Maybe it's the little, you know, it's, maybe it's the little buildings. Maybe he'll surprise us on the final one. I don't know. But right now, things aren't looking good for Bunzo Bunny. That's all I'm going to say. All right, so next up we have is Kissy Missy. So let's see. All right, so this is going to confirm. Who is stronger? Is males or females? So Huggy Wuggy lost his arm and his leg. But let's see what the female version of Huggy Wuggy, Kissy Missy, let's see how well she survived. So guys, do you think, oh wait, that's that's gonna start a war in the comments, who's better, girls or boys? But this will determine right now, okay? This will determine who's better, girls or boys. All right, let's go. All right, Kissy Missy, how's it going in? Oh, oh, she did the splits, ooh. Okay, um, so she, she lost a, she lost a leg, but then she lost, wait, hold on, wait, what, wait. Oh, okay, I thought she lost both of her hands. No, she lost a leg, half of a leg, and then a hand. Eh, is that the, is that worse? I mean, Huggy Wuggy, like, look, Huggy Wuggy lost an entire leg, an entire, an, an entire arm. Kissy Missy lost one entire leg, okay, so that evens it out. But then she lost her hand and half of another leg. I think that's even. I think that's technically even. So it's like a tie between Huggy Wuggy and Kissy Missy right now. Yeah, they're like the same, which I guess makes sense. So, uh, okay, I guess it's confirmed that uh, it's equal. So there you go. Happiness all around. All right, guys, so this is what I'm really curious about. So we have the Wacka Wuggies, and there's four different types of Wacka Wuggies. There's the red one, the blue one, the yellow one, and the green one. Guys, I want you guys to let me know right now in the comments which Wacka Wuggie do you think is going to survive the most, if that makes sense. Like, have at least be the most intact when they hit the floor. Do you, are you guys on team red, team blue, team yellow, or team green? Let me know. I'm going to go. What? Eh. No, if I pick a color, you guys are just going to follow me. So let me know in the comments, but I have mine in my mind. So uh, we'll start off in order, though. So we have the red Wacka Wuggy. So do you guys think he's going to get annihilated or do you think he's going to be okay? All right, there goes the red Wacka Wuggy. Wacka Wuggy. 
Oh, he is dead. Oh, no. Okay, all right. So, we'll, we'll go down there at the bottom once we throw all four of them off. So, things are not looking good for the red Wacka Wuggy. But what about the blue Wacka Wuggy? You know, this guy is kind of impersonating Huggy Wuggy right here. This is, like, practically Huggy Wuggy Jr. So, uh, he's got to do good, right? He's got to follow in his father's footsteps and survive from high places, right? Yeah, he's got to be able to. Okay, let's see. Huggy Wuggy. Oh, yay! Yo, let's go! Okay, so right now, the blue Wacka Wuggy is ahead of the red Wacka Wuggy. So, if you chose the color red, yeah, that was a bad choice, because red is associated with blood, and, um, yeah, he's kind of bleeding out all over the place, so uh, that's not good. But then, next up we have is the yellow. So, do you think the yellow Wacka Wuggy is going to surpass the blue Wacka Wuggy? Let me know. Okay, alright, so three, two, one, go yellow Wacka Wuggy! Let's go! Hey, I, I can't tell. Okay, it looks like it's a bit of a tie between yellow and blue, but we'll go down there after we throw off green, and we will confirm who is the true champion of the Wacka Wuggy games. So finally is the green Wacka Wuggy. This is basically Grinch Huggy Wuggy. Basically, if if little Huggy Wuggy decided to steal Grinch... Uh, wait, what? If little Huggy Wuggy decided to steal Christmas, this is what he would look like. All right, let's go, Green Huggy Wuggy. Let's go, and... Oh, he's going fat. Oh, oh, hey, whoa. Okay, I think Green Huggy Wuggy might have just won. I'm not going to lie. It looks like he lost his, his both of his feet and his arm. All right, let's go down there, and let's confirm what's going on. Okay, so right off the bat with the red Huggy Wuggy... Yeah, he only has, like, an upper arm left, and then that's it. But he's, they all still have their heads intact, which is good. So none of them died. They're all still technically alive, but they're, but they're probably going to bleed out. So, yeah, Red Huggy Wuggy definitely... Or red wacka wuggy he definitely came in last so there's no doubt about that but then we have the blue huggy wuggy and the yellow one so from above it looked really close um so uh let's see here okay wait oh wait did you lose both of oh no the yellow one lost both of his hands the blue one still has one hand um oh that's it oh oh the blue huggy wuggy beats yellow huggy wuggy by a hand literally oh my gosh that is Oh my gosh, it was almost tied right there. But the blue Huggy Wuggy still has a hand, which makes him barely in front of the yellow Huggy Wuggy. So that makes it look like yellow Huggy Wuggy is right there. And then the blue Huggy Wuggy is right in front of it. Wow, so if you chose blue, that was a really good one. I'm not going to lie, guys. In my mind, I chose yellow. Um, so uh, rip and rust yellow. But let's see the green one. Okay, the green one looked really good. Okay, so he lost, his, he lost both of his feet and a hand. I, I think, wait, that's better. That's better! Yo, Green Huggy Wuggy, Green Wacka Wuggy wins! Look at that, because he, he has both of his full legs right there. Sure, he's missing his feet, but compared to the blue Huggy Wuggy, he, he has, again, just by one little limb, Green Wacka Wuggy is in first. So if you chose the Green Wacka Wuggy, congratulations, he, he won. He won the first Wacka Wuggy games. We're going to do this with other villains as well, but he won game number one. So, uh, yeah, so if you chose red, things aren't looking good. I chose yellow, and uh, I got third, so yeah. But um, if you got blue, you got second, and if you chose green, you got first. So, well, uh, congratulations, green team. Um, thank you for believing in the green Wacka Wuggy. He thanks you on the inside. Look at that beautiful smile. Isn't he happy? All right, so before we go on to the building number two, we have one final character throw off this building, and that is Scary Huggy Wuggy. So I know this is pretty much the exact same as Huggy Wuggy, but we gotta see, is Scary Huggy Wuggy stronger than normal friendly Huggy Wuggy? We gotta figure this out right now. Okay, so let's see. So regular Huggy Wuggy only lost a leg and an arm, but let's see. Will the scarier version of him lose more parts or less parts? Let's find out. Who is stronger, Scary Huggy Wuggy or normal Huggy Wuggy? Let's find out. And oh, I think he. Yep. Yeah, okay. I think um. Yeah, I think the, the scarier ones is stronger than Huggy Wuggy. I think that was kind of obvious from the start. But there you guys go. There is building number one. So it looks like, yeah, PJ Pugapillar is definitely the one most in contact. Um, but Green Huggy Wuggy also did really good too. So uh, yeah, but there you go. Everyone's everyone's bleeding out and stuff like that have a couple bro have a cu blah, 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 have a couple broken bones but everyone's still alive even the even the red one he is he has no limbs i would hate to be that guy but yes everyone did survive building number one so nobody died but um i feel like some people are probably going to start dying on building number two so uh let's go over there 
all right so here we are on the medium boy building two yes guys that's right we are on the on level two difficulty medium so as you can see we are higher up and if you look over there that is the first building we were on that was level one this is level two we are um we are really really high up so uh yeah but as you can see i have all the characters set up and i also have a portal set up you're probably wondering why do you have a portal well basically i have this portal here so that way whenever right after we throw a character off we can walk through this portal and watch them fall to their doom and oh yeah you can see pj pug a pillar dangling for his life so uh he doesn't fully fit up here so uh yeah he's it's he's probably fine so uh yeah but uh, anyways, hmm, should we go in through these guys in order again, or should we mix and match? I think we're going to mix and match. So, who shall we go for first? Since we did Scary Huggy Wuggy last, last time, I think we should do him first. So, uh, we're going to do Scary Huggy Wuggy first. So, uh, we're going to throw him off the building, and um, yeah. So, do you have any last words, Scary Huggy Wuggy? No? Okay, well, um, goodbye, Scary Huggy Wuggy. It was nice knowing you. All right, there he goes. He's fallen to his doom. Quickly, through the portal. Oh, there he is. Scary Huggy Wuggy. No! Uh, oh, okay. That was anti-climatic. So, um, huh. So, just like regular Huggy Wuggy from the first building, he only lost an arm and a leg. Well, um, well, dang. Okay, Scary, Wug Scary Huggy Wuggy is buff. Oh, dang, oh, dang. Okay, I thought he was... I thought he was going to take a bit more damage, but, uh, okay, he's still alive, though, so, uh, GG the Scary Huggy Wuggy. Um, alright, so, uh, let's go back through the portal, and, okay, you know what, I want to, I want to throw Bunzo off, okay? Bunzo, I swear, if I pick you up, do not lose your foot, okay? Okay, good Bunzo, good Bunzo, so I'm really curious to see if Bunzo, <laughs> what's going to happen to Bunzo? I feel like if any character is going to die on this building, it's going to be Bunzo. I'm not going to lie, I think Bunzo, Bunzo might explode. Bunzo might explode on impact. I'm not gonna lie guys. Do you think Bunzo will explode? I think Bunzo might be secretly a time bomb. All right, let's find out. Okay, go Bunzo go Okay, he's falling really fast. Okay, we gotta go. Oh, oh my gosh. He's going down. So oh my god <laughs> He was like a bullet. Did you see how fast compared to scary huggy wuggy? He went down so fast. Yep I, w I stand corrected Bunzo bunny. Um, he died. He's um, he's dead. So that is our first death. So uh, if you're rooting for Bunzo Bunny, I'm, I'm sorry. He's uh, he's kind of a weak weakling. So uh, yeah, okay. Well, there's Bunzo Bunny. He's uh, he's out of the way. But who should we throw off next? Hmm. Hmm. We could go ahead and do our little four little whack of wuggies. What, what if we threw them all off at the same time? That would be so cool. Okay, you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to throw them all off at the same time. Here, let me set something up for them. Alright, so as you can see, I have placed all the four little wacka wuggies in the air. And instead of throwing them all off individually, we're going to throw them all off at the exact same time. So guys, let me know right now in the comments for medium building for level 2, which wacka wuggy do you think is going to survive? So in the last one, the in, on building number 1, the one who was most intact was the green huggy wuggy. So which which one of these wacka wuggies do you think is going to be the most intact? So And also, do you think any of these guys are going to die? I swear, watch them all just explode. That would be hilarious, but I, I do think some of them are going to survive. So uh, let's see. So on the count of three, I'm going to unfreeze them, and uh, let's go. All right, one, two, three. Okay, there they go. There goes the wacka wuggies. They're going down. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, okay. All right. There we go. Oh no, it looks like one of them died. Wait, P. Oh no. PJ fuck a pillar fell off the building. Oh god, he's got and I guess he's fine. Okay, I um, I wasn't ready to throw you off, but I forgot I had him frozen up there. So okay, well PJ, thank you PJ Pug a pillar for for showing off. Nobody asked you to show off, but uh, yeah. So uh, he's he's completely fine. I don't think anyone's surprised by that. But all oh, the wacka wuggies just got demolished. Okay, so um, yeah. So right off the bat, yeah, the green wacka wuggy. Oh, he could. He, oh my gosh, he went from first to last. So. He was number one on the first building. He got first place, but it's no doubt on this one he got last. So, uh, he's, he's dead. He's our second dead character. All the other Wacka Wuggies survived. Again, they're probably bleeding out and have a bunch of broken bones. But they all have their heads. So, um, yeah. So, uh, oh gosh. Okay, let's see. Um, alright. So, the little yellow Wacka Wuggy, he's only got half of a limb. Okay, let's see. The red Wacka Wuggy, I think he's got half of two limbs. So yeah, he's got half of his arm and half his half his half of his leg. So that places him in front of the yellow 
um, Wacka Wuggy, and then the green Wacka Wuggy would be behind the yellow one, but let's see about the blue one, and, ooh, oh, okay, alright, so yeah, so this is actually a tie, it's a tie between the blue Wacka Wuggy and the red Wacka Wuggy, they both have half, well, they both have two halves of a limb, so, uh, yeah, so that, that means it's a tie, um, so if you got blue or red for this one, you're pretty much good. Um, but yeah, green could not pop off. Maybe, maybe he'll make a comeback on the final big boy building over there. Oh gosh, that's going to be a massacre. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, so right now, if you've been choosing the yellow Wackawuggy, which I chose him. Oh, I didn't choose one for this building. I chose the yellow one on the first building. But yeah, if you've chosen the yellow one so far, you're, you're not having good luck. So, uh, I guess, I guess that represents me. Um, but yeah, so, so far the only two characters that have died is Bunzo Bunny and the green Wacka Wuggy, but we will be throwing them off on the final building, so don't y'all worry, they will make a comeback, um, so, uh, yeah, but again, I was right, some characters are dying on this one, so, uh, yeah, so we don't actually have that many characters left for this building, um, we only have three left, we got Huggy, Kissy, and Mommy, so, uh, hmm, alright, so instead of throwing Huggy Wuggy off first, let's throw Kissy Missy off, and then Mommy Longlegs, and then Huggy Wuggy, alright, I think that's how we're gonna do it, alright, Kissy Missy, all right, wait, let me make sure the floor is clear. Okay, it's good. All right, or should, we, should I throw Kissy Missy and Huggy Wuggy off together? We'll do that on the last building, okay? We'll do like a couple pairs together on the very last one. So, uh, okay. All right, Kissy Missy, are you ready? All right, three, two, one, go! There goes Kissy Missy. She's floating on down. Oh, God, okay. Where? Oh, no! Kissy Missy, no! Oh! Oh, oh, dang! Okay, she only lost an arm. Is that better than the, um... Yeah, that's better than the first build. What? What? What is that logic? She fell further, but she was more intact. Because on the on the first building, she lost, like, her feet and an, and an arm. But on this one, she only lost one arm. Dang, Kissy Missy is swole. She did better than Scary Huggy Wuggy. Scary Huggy Wuggy lost an arm and a leg. But Kissy Missy only lost an arm. Dang, Kissy Missy is... Kissy Missy is kind of beefy, I'm not gonna lie, dang, okay, that actually surprised me, I'm not gonna lie, I thought she was gonna get a bit more beat up, in all honesty, um, oh my goodness, okay, well that surprised me, alright, so, um, let's go ahead and let's throw off Mommy Longlegs, so, uh, let's see, is Mommy Longlegs gonna do better than the last one or not, I'm, I, I'm, again, I'm very surprised, Kissy Missy did so much better on this building than that one, you would think she would, like, explode or something, but, uh, no, what the heck, that surprised me, okay, Mommy Longlegs, you ready, okay, let's go, Wee. okay, and, oh gosh, she's going down fast, oh yeah, she's going down a bit faster, and, oh no, oh no, so she didn't fall as fast as Bunzo, but definitely fell faster than, than, uh, Scary Huggy Wuggy and Kissy Missy, and, uh, yeah, she's dead. She's, uh, she's dead, and she lost a leg, and also a hand. Um, yeah, yikes. Uh, maybe, maybe we should've just thrown her back into the grinder. Oh my goodness, why, why is she so, so thick? My goodness, mmm! Alright, so for our final character on the medium building is Huggy Wuggy himself. Do you guys think Huggy Wuggy's gonna do better than, uh, Kissy Missy? Or, or at least better than Scary Huggy Wuggy? So, Kissy Missy only lost an arm, but Scary Huggy Wuggy lost an arm and a leg. So how do you guys think regular Huggy Wuggy's gonna do? Do you think he's gonna do better? Do you think he's gonna be A-OK, -okay, perfectly fine? Probably not, but uh, there's only one way to find out. Okay, uh, prove everyone to be happy, Huggy Wuggy. Keep that smile. Okay, there he goes. Oh wait, is this fake? Oh, okay, there he is. Oh no, he's going head first. No, Huggy, Huggy, not head first, no! What? Wait, oh, he lost an arm. Oh my goodness, for a second, I thought he was perfectly fine. I didn't see he lost an arm. Wait, that means he's the exact same as Kissy Missy. What the heck? Wait, oh, it's the same arm too. What the frick? Okay, he just lost his hand and his foot on the ground. Um, But he only lost an arm just like Kissy Missy. What the heck? Wait, the tables have turned. Huggy Wuggy and Kissy Missy are now stronger than Scary Huggy Wuggy. On the first building, Scary Huggy Wuggy was stronger than these two. What the heck? All right, so yeah, that, if Huggy Wuggy can survive that fall right there, he can, he's definitely alive. Okay, Huggy Wuggy definitely alive in poppy playtime there ain't no way if he can survive that height he can he can survive anything um but yeah that's pretty much it for the medium building now let's go on to the final building oh my gosh it's about to be a massacre all right guys so here we are on the final building at max high oh my gosh we are so high up 
so right there that's building number two that's where we just were and all the way down there that is building number one so we are so much higher up oh my look at how high we are oh my goodness i have no idea how many stories this building is but it is a ton as you can see oh my gosh but anyways guys everything is set up we also have another portal right here so we're gonna do the same thing as we did on the last building we're gonna throw them off and then i'm gonna hop down here through this portal and that way we can get a nice view when they make impact with the ground all right guys so for this third and final building before we start throwing characters off let me know in the comments who do you think is going to survive there was definitely going to be a lot of deaths on this one so let me know hmm i don't know you, you, you i think i think guys i think bunzo might be able to make a comeback i'm just saying okay probably not i would probably not vote for bunzo but hmm let me know in the comments who do you guys think is going to be the strongest on this one. Oh my gosh i have no idea so to start things off we're gonna start with pj pugapillar because He's been like show popping off on these last two buildings, taking no damage at all besides one little foot. Um, but I just want to see if this building can kill him. Because if this building does like kill PJ Pugapillar, which I think it might, um, then uh, these other people probably don't stand a chance. But you never know. Someone could surprise us. So anyways, PJ Pugapillar, you're going to go first this time. So uh, any last words, you, you little doggo? Um... Yeah, this is why you you should have let me win in uh, in the in the, uh, in the in your mini game, okay? Instead of like having a bunch of rocks at the end, and then I had to cheat, okay? All right, be gone, PJ Pugapillar, be gone. Okay, there he goes. Look at him slowly falling. Oh, he's falling gracefully. Oh my gosh, look at look at him. He's taking his time. Look at this guy. Oh my, he's all the way up there. So yeah, there he is. There's PJ. <laughs> look at he looks so happy. He's like wee. Oh, he's going head first though. That's probably not good. Oh, okay. I think this is probably what's going to get him to win is that he's falling so slow. Look at how slow he's falling. Dang, man. Look at him. He's like, <laughs> oh boy, I'm so happy. I'm going to get the ball. Okay, here we go. And... <laughs> Alright, so I did see a little blood. Oh yeah, there's some blood. Okay, let's see. Do you have all your toes? Are your feet intact? Okay, let's go ahead and just drag him out a little bit um let's see it looks like all of his feet are fine i think he might have lost a foot and he only lost he he uh oh he lost two feet that's it he lost two feet well dang all right so i'm not gonna lie that uh that really wasn't all that surprising uh pj pugapillar is just too buff okay we're we're too this world is too good for him okay um Okay, so anyways, besides PJ Pugapillar, let's see everyone else. So I would do Bunza right now, but we're going to wait a second. We're going to do... Should we do two characters together? Or should we do them um, all separate? And we'll do two characters together. We'll do Mommy Long Legs and Kissy Missy together. Um, it'll be an, a little girl's night out. Or in this case, it's the girl's night being thrown off of a building. So uh, yeah, so we'll have Mommy Long Legs and where's Kissy Missy? Alright, let's get you right here, Kissy Missy. All right, so uh, you two are gonna fall together, and oh my, oh, and then they're gonna fall at different speeds. I'm pretty sure Mommy Long Legs will fall a bit faster than uh, Kissy Missy, but uh, this should make it more interesting. So uh, yeah, all right. So on the count of three, I'm gonna let them go. All right, one. Oh wait, before I let them go, who do you think is gonna survive more, Kissy Missy or Mommy Long Legs? I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of putting my money on Kissy Missy because on the last building, Mommy Long Legs died instantly. Um, but I don't know, something, something could happen, so, uh, okay, I'm gonna let them go in three, two, one, go! Okay, so as you can see, yeah, it looks like Mommy Long Legs is falling a bit faster. Okay, they're getting down there, I gotta go through my portal. Okay, and okay, there they are, so yeah, it looks like, yeah, Mommy Long Legs is falling so much faster, and... Oh, she survived! What the heck, she actually survived! And here comes Kissy Missy, and... Ooh, okay, alright, that, okay, this is interesting. All right, so let's check out Mommy Long Legs first. So um, she did fall faster. I am surprised you l survived. I'm not gonna lie, she died on the second building, but she survived on this one. What in the world? So she, she actually didn't get beaten up at all. She only lost a foot and half of an arm. That's it. Other than that, she's completely fine. What the heck? And then Kissy Missy lost an entire leg and an entire arm. That means uh, Mommy Longlegs did better than Kissy Missy. What the heck? So if you said Mommy Longlegs would be better than Kissy Missy, then you were right. What the? Fr I I honestly I honestly thought Kissy Missy was gonna have that one in the bag, but 
Oh my gosh, Mommy Longlegs made a comeback somehow. I don't know how, but somehow she did. So uh, there you go. I guess uh, I guess that confirms that Mommy Longlegs is stronger than Kissy Missy. I'm gonna put them both in this dark alleyway. Hopefully they don't do anything sus together while they're back there, because you know we all know dark alleyways. But anyways, we're going back through our portal, and all right, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna we're gonna throw Scary Huggy Wuggy and regular Huggy Wuggy off the building together. All right, so we gotta we this will prove what is better in the world, bad versus good so we have good huggy wuggy versus bad huggy wuggy what is better in the world and what will always be superior is the world just an evil cruel place or is it a nice happy wonderland this will determine it by these huggy wuggies i'm gonna space them out just a little bit further so that way they don't run into into each other which they which i don't think they should so uh all right you guys ready all right who's gonna be better scary huggy wuggy or good huggy wuggy all right three two one go and since basically there's they're the same character they should fall at the same speed so look at them go look at the oh look at that looks so freaking cool okay i gotta get down there okay and oh my gosh i i feel like when you're up there they look like they're f closer to the ground but then they really aren't okay uh all right what's it who's gonna be who's gonna oh okay they took some damage right there so regular huggy wuggy only has an arm and a leg left while scary huggy wuggy also only has an arm and a leg left wow that's not really a surprise because they're the same character so it's a tie Woo! all right guys so all that's left is bunzo bunny and the four mini wacka wuggy so we're gonna go ahead and do bunzo bunny and then we're gonna have our final competition against the wacka wuggies so i'm really interested to see that but uh, i think we all just want to see bunzo bunny fall and die yeah we all know he's probably gonna explode but i think this will be hilarious so i gotta line this up because he he falls the fastest so uh, all right bunzo bunny um this is bunzo bunny when you get something wrong in musical memory bunzo bunny comes down faster so a uh, beep bop beep boop oh no i got one wrong and oh no bunzo bunny is coming for those cheeks look at him go oh my gosh he's coming down fast he's like you dare get something wrong in musical memory oh my god look at him that's so scary oh. <laughs> that's so messed up oh my god <laughs> That's so funny, but that's so messed up. Yeah, rip, uh, rip Bunzo Bunny. I don't think that was a, a surprise to anybody right there. Oh, no, not Bunzo Bunny. Oh, no. <laughs> He's freaking dead. Has it, Wait, is he the only one who's died so far on this one? So far, more people have died on the second, on the medium building than, the, th than this building. I thought this building was going to be a massacre, but it's not. Only Bunzo Bunny has died so far. What the heck? All right, so definitely some of these uh, wacka wuggies are definitely gonna die. Oh my, they have to die, right? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let's align them up. So this will be the final wacka wuggy off. So right now the green wacka wuggy has one point, the blue wacka wuggy and the red wacka wuggy also have one point, but the yellow wacka wuggy has zero points. So uh, is the yellow one gonna come make a comeback and make it a tie th that shows that all the wacka wuggies are equal? Or is there one superior color among these four wacka wuggies? So yeah, so right now, if uh, if the yellow one wins, it all ties. But if any if any of these other ones right here do a bit better, then they will take home the trophy. So uh, who do you guys think is going to be better? Um, huh, okay, let me think about which color I want to pick. Um, I feel bad for the yellow one. I want the yellow one to make a comeback. I picked him on the very first round, and I, I forgot to pick someone on the second one. I need to pick someone. Hmm, who do you? Who do I think is going to be the superior one? <sighs> okay. All right. I got my color in my head. All right. Okay. All right. I know which one I'm rooting for. Okay. All right, Wacka Wuggies. You guys ready? All right. All right. Okay. Hopefully, you guys have your guesses too. I have no idea. It could be anyone's game, or it could just be a tie if the yellow one wins. But uh, we will find a, f find this out in three, two, one. Go, go, go. Okay. There they go. Oh gosh, they're going down fast. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh gosh, I'm not even gonna make it in time. Oh wait. Oh there they. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was faster than Bunzo Bunny. Oh my god. That was so freaking fast. Okay. All right. Oh gosh, there definitely was some heads that exploded, but I think one of them might have survived. I have no idea. Okay, let's go ahead and let's look. Okay, guys. Uh, 
Oh gosh, I'm hoping only gets- oh no. Oh, that's not a good sign. Okay, let's see. Who's first? The blue one- oh no, the blue wacka wuggy is dead. He's dead. He's only an arm. He's only an arm attached to his body. Okay, that's- oh wait, no, that's a leg. Okay, alright, but the red one- oh, the red one's still alive! Okay, so if you picked red, things are looking pretty good for you right now. Red looks really good. He's also kind of covered in blood. Okay, green. Is green okay? Is green boy gr Oh, no. Green's also dead. So right now, green and blue are tied, which means red is in the lead right now. So if yellow is dead, the red wacka wuggy takes home the crown. But if the yellow huggy wuggy is still alive and is going to have to have most of his limbs intact, because look, look at the red wacka wuggy. He's, he lost an arm, but then lost the bottom half of his legs. And then other than that, he's fine. So, even if the yellow wacka wuggy is alive, but if he's missing all the rest of his limbs, the red one's still gonna win. Um, but yeah, blue and green have tied for last. So, I will go ahead and say this now, I picked green for this one. So, I was hoping my, my green boy could come back, because he won the first round and then got annihilated in the second one. I was hoping he could make a comeback, but clearly not. So, hmm. Alright, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm really hoping that yellow one <laughs> is alive. I think that would be really cool to have it be a tie, but it's completely up to fate. So, uh, okay, let's see. Okay, there's blood. There's blood. Uh, <laughs> please be alive, yellow huggy wuggy. Please be alive, yellow wacka wuggy. Oh, no. <laughs> I called it. I called it. He's alive, but he's missing all of his limbs. I freaking called it earlier. I just said it. Oh, no. That means the red one wins. Oh, my gosh. The red wacka wuggy wins the games overall. Oh, my gosh. He, he lost in the first one, but he tied with blue in the second one, and he came in first place on the third and final one. Oh my gosh, I freaking called it. I I said, even if the yellow wacka wuggy is still alive, but he's if he's missing all of his limbs, the red one wins. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. What are the odds of that happening? Oh my gosh. Well, there you guys have it. That is all the characters and that is all of the buildings. So um, as you can see, you can see who's the strongest and who is the weakest. So it was very interesting, um, especially for like these media, for like these regular characters. It's more of them died on the second building than the third building. I was honestly shocked by that. I wasn't shocked that PJ Pugapillar survived. I'm pretty sure he used hacks. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but uh, yeah, more people died on the second one because Mommy Longlegs died on the second one. Um, but uh, she did fine on this one. And then all, and then Huggy Wuggy and Kissy Missy did the exact same as they did on the other one. So they're all they're all fine on this one. So yeah, the only people who died was Bunzo, Lol Rip Bunzo. Um, and half of the wacka wuggies so uh there you guys go um so yeah that is uh that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like on this video if you guys do want to see more gmod poppy playtime themed videos on the channel and i'll try to make more videos just like this one and uh, i'll try to get them out to you as soon as possible also feel free to subscribe as well it's completely free and that way you don't miss a single video in the future so that way if i upload another poppy playtime video super super soon make sure to subscribe so that way you do not miss it but anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for all of the support it means a lot to me and i'll see you guys next time goodbye and also to do the a beautiful outro i will throw myself off a building just for throwing these characters off okay goodbye we there i go oh no the camera was gonna pass me goodbye guys hope you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe oh.